Let's get going. So, folks, welcome to the Thursday evening checkpoint, a progress check on the business marathons. As I mentioned a moment ago, I think we'll probably have a few more of our participants join us in just a few moments as we get this started. First up, a quick check. Who in the, in the crowd at the moment hasn't been involved in the business marathon so far? Who's joining us just to check things out this evening? Is everybody here working in a team and working on an idea already? Fantastic. All right. That's, that's good to see, and that makes life a little bit easier for us. Uh, what I want to do with you this evening is find out how you're all doing. That's what we're going to do in just a short moment. And then afterwards, we'll give you a little bit more information about what you need to know for tomorrow, uh, what you need to know for Saturday as well as we approach these final presentations. Uh, we get ready for the chance to take home the big prize at the end of the campus party. So I had a couple of slides prepared just in case we had some fresh faces, but as we don't, I'm going to skip right through them and I'm going to ask Diderik yeah. to welcome the groups from Energy and Mobility Up uh, to give an update on their progress so far. But I'll yeah. give it to you, Diderik. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Oh, that's quick, right? Um, so for me, it's easiest to start with the Energy teams, right? Because I know them. Should I do that? Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm going to start off with Osman, can you please come forward? What we're going to do is sort of like give you like 30 seconds. Tell us a little bit about uh, the challenge you are uh, you have taken on, the idea that you have, and also maybe like the, the challenges you have are facing. And maybe you, you can use some help with something. How about that? Yeah? Test. Yeah, okay, this is working. Go ahead. So um, what we're trying to do is like uh, uh, actually demand management instead of like looking at like how to do uh, look for sustainable solutions. Uh, we think that the idea Give the mic is a little bit closer to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the idea uh, is. Oh, do that again. <laughs> the, the idea is that you um, uh, that if you if you if you can manage the actually demand and the behavior of consumers. Uh, you can. Uh, you don't need that much sun panels. You don't need my. Uh, you don't need storage uh, to store energy. It's all about like the change of uh, of the people, the mindset. Uh, because if you have a lot of uh, sun panels, uh, it doesn't doesn't actually exactly change the behavior. We have to make people aware because in the end, the building does not use energy on itself. The consumers you are the one who is using the energy. So yep. and that's when uh, that's where we. Uh, uh, we're trying to look for the why and then uh, work from in the full, uh, according to the golden circle principle. Uh, we're going to si see if uh, how things work out and uh, we're going to find some ideas, incentives, motivate uh, uh, and see how we can pr uh, uh, combine uh, durability, sustainability with uh, maybe entertainment uh, to give people incentives, uh, not only in money, but also in like in their in their own values. Do you have do you have something that you haven't figured out yet? Like this question, well, uh, how to do this or that? Yeah, because uh, we don't really have a business case because no one yeah, is actually making money model. out of it. You yeah. can use help with the business model. I could use really some help with the business model because uh, we, at, the, at how we look at it from uh, from our point of view is yes. like... Um, well, I can definitely help you out with that one. I've been a mentor for several hackathons designing business models. So... Uh, Thanks. After this, I will we'll be happy to do that. Okay, thank you very much, Osman. Give him a little bit of applause. Thank you. Big applause, big applause. The next up here, I want to have Gustavo. Yeah, for you. So give us a little bit of a roundup what you're working on and also some of the, the maybe the challenges or questions that you have. Go ahead. Uh, hello, everybody. So the problem that uh, well, the situation that we have today in the Netherlands is that people who produce energy in excess, they sell for a fixed price to the power grid. The question is, is, that, uh, is there any possibility to improve this system? Is there any possibility to the consumer, uh, actually the, the producer of energy, have uh, a better alternative which he thinks that he is more valuable uh, than the fixed price that we already have and our uh, our team came up with idea that we think yes it's uh, we have an alternative and we can produce even more value by using uh, an alternative system which he can change this uh, 
uh, excess of energy not into money but into credits. So uh, with a uh, collaborative uh, environment, with uh, supermarkets or uh, different stores, you can buy, for example, instead of paying money, you can buy in credits. And so the, the stores, they can use this, uh, this system as a sustainable advertisement. Right. So it's a gain game. Right. So, uh, so are there some questions, uh, things that you're trying to figure out still? Yeah, we don't have uh, a business plan, and we are uh, we're trying to figure it out how uh, to convince the people, uh, people not, uh, but the, um, the the stores and the companies to get in this uh, system, uh, and how to produce value to yeah, them, not exactly. only for the market. So you need two value propositions actually. You need a value proposition for the people who are living in the house and the value proposition for the stores and to put that in a model. Okay, again, I can help you with that. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Gustavo. <laughs> and then, of course, he has guessed it already. David, come up here. Oops. So, um, I think David had an interesting thing going on this afternoon when he was for the data workshop, he was with his team, the only one showing up. So instead of the data partners giving presentations of the data that they have, he sort of switched it around and made it into a workshop to help him and his team move forward a lot. But let's hear it from you. Okay, good evening everybody. So in our team, we started with this, um, this, uh, this uh, objective of making uh, buildings energy energetic and neutral but in the end we shifted a little bit and now what we want to do is to accelerate their 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 habitants their tenants and the building itself to come to an F type habitant at the F type building to uh, a type or C type or an improvement in the energy uh, energy consumption and energy behavior so we are thinking about what to do to um, to allow the people inside to get incentives to them in order to get more more energetic efficient. And that's what yes. we're figuring out. And now we are in this uh, stage that we, we didn't figure out yet, which is the best group to start with. So that's what we're figuring out now. Yes, all right. Thank you very much. Give it up for David. <laughs> so, so what I noticed from this, that uh, it's a lot about how to get people to do this or to change their behavior that, and it's exactly what uh, Jorah van Heesbeen and the other people have been saying, that we are sort of like the technology is there. It's not about technological innovation anymore. It's about scaling up and getting people on board to change their behavior. And it's so awesome to see that you all have your different perspectives on that, on how to do it. And I'm really curious to see where you're going. Thank you very much. Dwight, I'm thinking maybe you should take over for mobility because sure. you know those teams better. I do, yeah? I do. I do, I do right. very well. So you I'll step back up. Mic? Oh, I've got too yeah. many things in my hand. <laughs> you only have two hands. Oh, too bad. That's a mobility <laughs> challenge in itself. Okay. I have a list, an ordered list, carefully curated. For the mobility updates, first up, I think Desiree's in the room, right? I see him, he's over here. Do you want to come on up? Or somebody from your team? This is the team aptly named RP Jam, am I pronouncing that correctly? RP Jam, everybody say it with me. RP Jam. RP Jam. RP Jam. RP Jam. All right, here we go. I'm liking it. All right, we'll give you the microphone so you know the score. Just give us a quick uh, high level summary of where you're at, what challenges you may be facing, where you could use a hand, where maybe uh, other people in the room might give you some support to overcome some of the little roadblocks you may be coming up against. All right. Thanks, Desiree. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being here. I'm going to provide you with some insights real quick. Uh, so the idea here is to um, basically tackle the problem of traffic jam in specifically Netherlands, but it can be in Belgium or in France or whatever they are used traffic jam by using the user's data uh, to map it out uh, on network and then to find the most reliable way to go from point A to point B. So the issues initially was that our ideas was interesting but quite large, wide. So we actually decided to focus more on business environment, meaning 
businesses, uh, I mean employees and their business managers is a small, safe environment where you can, you can use the user's data without really worrying about what will be done because it will be already in safe environment. Then uh, from there, you can use our service to provide to the users the best way to go from home to work and vice versa. So you already have a path. Um, so we have the product, I mean, we have the, the pain. Pain is the traffic. We have the solution, our application to provide the most reliable service. And uh, how can we get uh, this product bought by the users? Then it's by um, uh, actually showing that uh, we can provide some additional services like matching kind of Tinder of the uh, transport application, but within the safe environment of a business, meaning um, our service can also help the businesses to see who are the people from that department or that unit living in the same area and that are actually looking for some partners to go to work or to go back home, whatever. So yeah. then you tackle the issues of energy consumption by sharing the cars or sharing the public transports. You also tackle the issues of social socializing in a business environment by making people who never hang out with each other so actually Desiree, meeting up. Where are you at? Where are you at right are you now? At? And what are you having some we challenges finished with? finished the business canvas. You finished the business canvas? Yeah. So, so you feel like you've got a business model? We have actually the big the brainstorm, but mm -hmm. we need now to discriminate some of the ideas. Great. So, uh, and you need, what sort of help like? might you need? What, we what could actually we help you with? need maybe someone who is expert in uh, the database parts. So okay. technical parts, we have great marketers, we have great uh, social media journalists. Influencers. Cool. So if you're so in the audience, maybe even from the energy group, and you've got a few minutes to spare, if you're a developer or a, a, a good information system sort of thinker, come and maybe have a chat to Desiree and the team of RP Jam. So someone who knows about APIs and database. Great. All right, let's give a round of applause to RP Jam and Desiree. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, I'd like to bring up Ram. Come on over, mate. Ram's from the team that I think was formerly known as Gringo. Light traffic. Light tra the traffic lights. Light traffic. Light traffic it is now called. Round of applause for Ram. Okay, hey guys. So this afternoon, Renato and I were very passionate about our idea. And then we discussed it further and further. We tried to address as many problems as we could. We, re we realized that we just couldn't. We got frustrated. We kind of gave up, went for a walk. And we went back to square one a bit. Now we have Nathan to help us as well. But we came up with three ideas, but I think the main one that we're gonna lead with now, most likely, is called light traffic. And um, the essence of it is what our original idea was, but it's narrowed down. So it's gonna be specifically focused at employees in the science park who use cars, private vehicles. And um, we're basing this on the assumption that Many people just come to work at nine in the morning, regardless of whether or not they may have a meeting or something mandatory they have to do at nine in the morning. They may come the, at nine in the morning, work on their laptop, send some emails, and then attend a meeting at 11 o'clock. So based on this, it's similar to the concept of hot desking, but kind of hot trafficking. So people only come to work when they need to. And we have the concept of three lights, so red, orange, green. So within a given time period, so we'll to make a database with all the timetables of all staff, if someone has a meeting um, at 12 o'clock, let's say, um, and if they arrive only within half an hour of 12 o'clock, they'll be in the green zone, which means that they can go in for free, no, no charge once they go through like the open toll booth. If they come in an hour before their meeting, that's the orange zone, they'll be charged a minimum fee, we haven't decided yet. And if they come over an hour before their first mandatory assignment, they'll be in the red zone where the charge of them going through, entering the science park is high. Um, so that's the essence of it. We've just about started the business plan. We have to fill in all the details. And cool. That's it. What sort of help could you use from uh, other teams, other experts, or through the network that we're building here? Um, well, we have mainly business and a bit of database skills in uh, our group. If anyone is good with programming and could help us make a platform or an application to carry it out, it would be great. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. Round of applause for Ram. Thanks, mate. And uh, last up, I think Shahib is uh, just down the bottom here. Shahib, you're ready to go. You want to put your laptop here? Yeah, just dump mine. Yeah. Uh, you want to plug it in? Hmm. I don't even know. 
Oh yeah, you have display port. Wow. Oh yeah, I got a I think this one's good. Yep. Yeah, just go with that. Just don't let me push it off. I w I, w I w maybe just just yeah, delve something. We with might just go with a, we might yeah. just go with a yeah. description of the challenge yeah. and and so on at the moment. Yeah, yeah, no need to go with the slides right now. I'll give you the mic. So, what was your what's the name of your idea at the moment? You gave us one integrated uh, transport, right? Uh, yeah. Integrated so mobility app. Cool. So I'm going to help you with the mic here. I think it's turned on. Say hello. Hello. Yep, yeah. You got to hold it right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are basically uh, building an app called uh, Integrated Mobility App, uh, by which a uh, user can uh, know uh, uh, how he can travel from uh, place A to place B, oh, from place A to place B, uh, by uh, public transport, by um, uh, by cycle, or by uh, the car. Okay. Uh, what we actually planned on doing is, uh, is to use an open source data. Uh, that's available um, for a car, for the public transport, and for the cycle, and integrated into our platform. Awesome. What are the, some of the challenges that you're facing? Are you just getting started with this now, and, and, yeah, and we, what we could just, you we, get help with? Yeah, um, we need to uh, integrate all three uh, database into our uh, platform. So we just we need some technical uh, uh, support. Sure. So there you go, folks. That's uh, the third team that's working around integrated mobility. Shazib, thank you very much. I'll take the mic. Campus party, round of applause. And we're good. So I will just plug this puppy back in here. We've got one more slide I want to share with you. Yes. Dieterich, you want to take care of it? Uh, if you show me the slide, sure. Sure, it's yeah. <laughs> the important one. Show oh, the audience. Tomorrow. Show the audience, oh, too. Oh, there you go. Yes. There you are. So what's up next? For tomorrow, get to see if you can talk to your customers. You have an idea of the solution you're offering and uh, who, who can be your early adopters and people who are really enthusiastic about it. Uh, we had the profiles in the, the workshop, at least for energy over there. So see if you can somehow contact them. It can be anybody. Do you have a question? Is there a yeah. question or? Yeah. We'll repeat the question. Yeah. Yes. Ah, finally we're here. Yeah. Okay. I was talking to someone over there, so I was a little late here, but I had one of these pitches I wanted to do. I think I am. Did I miss the queue? Oh, uh, yeah. But, but I get it that you don't have a a team, right? Yes, I know. I'm a solo flyer. Yeah. So th then you cannot participate if you don't have a team. Okay. Do you think? Do you think you will get a team tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah. W Shall we hear it? Yeah. What you want to do it? Else Let's thing. get up here. Oh, never we? mind. Yeah. Shall we hear it? Yeah, we'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear it. Please. Come on up onto the stage. Yeah. We get you a round of applause. This is inclusive. This is Aaron. This we is be Aaron. inclusive. Yeah. We like. We've got time. Aaron. Um, okay, so this is for the energy challenge, and what I found out speaking to the people from the housing corporation is that they want two things. They want to renovate their houses, and they want to store energy so that at the end of the month, they have a zero on the energy meter, on the electricity meter. The thing is, they want solar power, and they have no way of storing it. So I said there is one way of storing energy very efficiently, and that is by putting mass on a different height. Heisting it up like water with pumps or heisting up mass like cinder blocks on a ramp. Both these ideas I am currently exploring. Uh, the ramp ID uh, on a plot outside of the city connected to the power grid of those social housings, of those four-story buildings. And one idea of putting a big basin, for example, on the top of a building, pumping up water through the day when people are not there, are not uh, using the power, and letting it down, reversing the engine as a generator during the night when Mrs. or Mr. Janssen wants to cook their dinner on an electric stove. Sounds good. 
So yes. what sort of help do you need? And what I need as this? help is uh, civil engineers, so, uh, social, uh, um, mechanical engineers mostly, people who know how these things exactly work. I'm technical, but not that technical. And people who want to do, do this challenge and are good with numbers. So anyone who wants to participate can participate. All right, sounds good. Yeah, thank you very much, Thanks, Aaron. Aaron. Give it up Grand for Aaron. Aaron. Nice. Eric? Lama Han. Yeah. So, so Aaron, I think our challenge is together with you as a challenge to see if we can get a team around you, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, so for tomorrow, let's continue. Uh, still, there are going to be experts tomorrow as well, including tonight there are still some around. Tomorrow, more experts that can help you. Uh, keep working on the solution and be, be ready for pitch practice, especially for the team leader, of course, that's going to be, he's going to be coached on how to do his pitch. It's going to be great. So tomorrow morning again, uh, yes, Osman. Yeah, we can do the pitch with two people. Yeah, this is just a, a quick question a about the, yeah. the pitches. So the presentations on Saturday morning, you'll be able to do with two people. We'll give you a, a bunch more information and advice yeah. and coaching yeah. about how to deliver a great presentation tomorrow afternoon. Two's fine. Uh, and we'll talk more about some of the nuances and whether that's a good idea or not necessarily a good idea tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, good exactly. question. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. Now we have a longer time for the final presentations. It'll be either four or five minutes, I believe, at this stage. So we'll, again, we'll formalize that and confirm that tomorrow. to you tomorrow afternoon. Yep. With, with slides, uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. So we, we move from a 60 second elevator type pitch into more of a, a formal uh, presentation about the, the problem and the solution and the market and all these sorts of things that, that you'll have. Yeah. Yes. Any more questions? Okay, then I'm going to wrap this one up and then the next speaker is already there. That we have a warm up tomorrow, 11 a.m., right here. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, and guys. See you around. We'll see you in the morning, but we can keep working tonight, all right? <laughs>